Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. Uh, this evening's shave, as you can tell by the thumbnail, I am using Bearshrin Man's Eigenkrell. And this is in the Excelsior base. Now you notice I'm home, but I'm using Eigenkrell. If you watch the channel for a while, you know my wife hates, hates that scent with passion. So much so that I am not allowed to use it when she's home. But why am I using it? Because she's not home! Because she is out with her college roommates. Hanging out for the evening and most likely talking about their husbands and you know, complaining about kids and you know all that fun stuff. So, because it is ladies night, Eigenkrell is coming up to play. I had a completely different shave in my head for today. And then she reminded me she was going out to one of her roommates, former roommates' homes for this evening. And every time they do this, it's a late night. So, it's a perfect night to use I can go. And I'm sure she'll come home and go, oh, that smell is awful. Sorry, you're not home enough using it. It's getting used. The razor for the evening is the Timeless TN95 with a who knows what use Platinum Strange Lab. The brush, as you saw, was uh, miles for miles. It's a, I think it's a manzanita burl with some resin work. Figured the resin in the wood kind of mix perfectly with the theme of Eigenkrell. That leather has been beautifully whipped up in the HCNC stainless steel bowl. I believe Eigenkrell was just re-released for this year. Or not too long ago. Uh, I believe it was sold out in the Razor Crown last time I looked. But if you're really interested in scent, I believe I do believe um, Grown Man Shaves, Grown Man Shaves still has it. Uh, not sure about Maggards or West Coast. I'm pretty sure I got this at uh, TRC last year. It's when I took a flyer and I absolutely love it. My wife does not. But I told her Flat out, I'm not giving it to soap. Not now, but it's one of my favorite scents. It's not going anywhere. So on occasions like tonight when she's not home, I can use it. So the scent notes on the tub are Iris, cold air, firm needle, and lichen. And I absolutely love the scent. It's, <clears throat> to me, it is one of my favorite Bearsford Man scents. And before, <laughs> that one meant a whole lot, but I have like 13 or so soaps from Bearsford Man now. I absolutely love, I can go. So this year's release is in Omnibus, and Omnibus is a phenomenal base. I know some people will say that they don't 
notice much difference between Omnibus and Excelsior? And the difference is there, at least to me, but it's marginal. And it's coming from someone that really likes Excelsior. And the Timeless is doing a phenomenal job. Same with the Strange Let. And there's some people there, the Strange Let does not work for them. And for those guys, I'm sorry, I think it's a great blade. So how's everyone's weekend? Saturday for me was really busy. My oldest is in a uh, robotics club at his school. Where they get kits you can assemble multiple variations of robots. So they choose which I'm assuming they choose what kind they want to build, then they build it and program it, and then they have these competitions. You know, they have a little field with little balls on the side and spread around, and they have to go and gather the balls and put them underneath in the in the in a specific target area on the field, and it's a two-man team and. So they had a competition today at one of the elementary schools in the district. Or Saturday. Today is Saturday, yesterday is Tuesday. Because I do record, especially the, the Tuesday videos, they usually get recorded a few days in advance. Just because trying to get them out early Tuesday morning, with work on Monday and everything else, trying to, and then I shave Monday evening, trying to record, and then re do everything else and get up for work. It's just, it doesn't work. I, I like my bed in the morning. So for the robotics competition, uh, the school that we went to is about half an hour away or so. And we were told to be there as close to eight as possible. It's like, all right, you know, we'll, We'll leave the house at 7.30, get up at 6.30ish or so. Get up and get dressed, eat breakfast, all that stuff. So we get to the school, it's a little bit before eight. Like we were asked and instructed. Also the instructions were, they were clear that only Two people could be there to support the student. And if there were young children, to make sure they remained quiet. Of course, my wife and I decided to follow those rules. She stayed home with the oldest, or with the youngest, because my middle one went out with my dad. Looking for wild horses today. So my wife was home with the youngest. So we get to the competition at uh, Bill before eight, and then you know team check-ins and all that stuff. And the first match wasn't until nine thirty. And the the event competition, whatever you want to call it, went until 1230. And that was for those that didn't, you know, if you were qualified or going into the finals, whatever, it used to even longer. My son's team did not make the finals. So we stayed, I thought I'd get myself there, I had some irritation for the past couple days there. That's not been uncommon, bleeding. No matter what razor I use. Anyway, so we stay there until 12.30. Okay, 
came home. Had lunch. We went and walked our neighbor's dog. My son does that three days a week for our neighbor. One of them. Oh, lives around the corner and you know, whatever, but. Big old Great Dane. So we went and walked the dog and then uh, came home and went to a, went to a camping world thinking, hey, you know, this would be great to look for some stuff for the trailer we want to get for camping. We decided what kind of ring we want. We just have to wait. One until my vehicle gets here and then we can order it. We went to a, a camping world to see if they had any things that we could use and dis disappointing in their selection. They were under, they were remodeling a little bit and Not a single person came up to ask if we needed anything. So that was a great experience. We'll go back to that one again. But uh, didn't really have anything we wanted. So we went to uh, Bass Pro Cabela's that's just a few towns further south from where we were already at. Walked in there and that was disappointing. Their selection was crap. So we went, <laughs> came almost all the way home to our neighboring town and looked there. And we feel like that store had a better selection of stuff that we need, like coolers and, and we have a cooler and sleeping bags and all that stuff. I mean, we're not total novices in camping, but we need more, we need updated gear because we haven't been camping a whole lot in the past. 15 years because I've traveled for that long. When you get home on Friday night, say midnight, I have to fly out Monday morning, leave the house at 4.30 a.m. to catch a flight for the week. You don't really want, and have to do laundry in between all that. And pack and get some semblance of sleep. You know, getting Going camping for a night is just it's fun, but not worth it when you have all that other stuff to do. So we haven't been camping a whole lot recently, but we're looking forward to getting back into camping. We're going this year in a tent. I'm looking very much looking forward to it. You know, minus that little irritation there, that little blood. It's a great shave. Bearstrom man, I can tell. Phenomenal stuff. Beautiful scent. Absolutely love it. We're going to finish off with some witch hazel because I'm under that 15 minute mark. Just do this real quick right here. But yeah, so we did that. Went to two story. Went to Sportsman's Warehouse after we went to Cabela's. Found more stuff there that we liked that was a little bit better. Seemed that they had a better selection for camping in that. Then, uh, Right next door was a Target, so I went, went there because my old son wanted to get a couple things. And we were in a Target and came home and did dinner real fast. My wife left and well, she left before dinner and hung out with the two oldest. My youngest, my middle, or my oldest and youngest, then the middle kid came home and hung out for a little bit and then they went to bed. And that's where they are. That's what's quiet. <laughs> anyway, now I'm getting up to that 15 minute mark. I'm going to cut off right here. Thank you all again for tuning in. Don't forget the giveaway that is going on. The next Monday's video will be where I announce the, the winner of the giveaway. So if you haven't entered, there are two ways to enter. Go back and find the announcement video and then the other one that was released last week. You can get another entry. So you have two chances to enter that. Anyway, thank you again for tuning in. I catch you all next time.